Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be sharing my completed BMO PC case. This is a project that was a long time coming and I actually thought that I would have it done three weeks ago, but here it is finally here. From the last update, I didn't have all that much left to do. It's just a bunch of minor little things I added to add on. And this included all the buttons, front I.O., so like the SD card reader and the USB, as well as the removable dust covers for the fans and this 3D printed legs. Starting with the buttons, these are mostly for show. The only working button is the power button, which is the big red button. And the other ones were just dummy buttons that were 3D printed and painted. So I went through the process of sanding them down, priming them, and spray painting them with white primer. Then. I didn't actually have spray paint for the variety of colors that I was going to use for the buttons so I decided to use acrylic paint and just use a sponge brush and brush it over. I think the results were alright, maybe not as nice a finish for as spray paint, but I think it turned out okay. After I finished that, I stuck these on with some double sided foam tape and for the front USB IO and the SD card reader, I got an internal USB 3. Uh, splitter so I could have USB 3 peripheral devices inside my case which was great because that means I didn't have to wire it from the rear IO and I designed some clips to hold these in place and again I double-sided taped them against my case. For the front USB IO I actually used a USB 3 hub but this actually has four different IOs but I decided not to open up another two holes just because on the original B mode they don't actually have, they only have two connectors there. As well as already being split from the SD card reader and the USB hub, I didn't want to share that much bandwidth. I originally tried to fit in the headphone and microphone jack in with the SD card reader, but after I started putting it together I realized I didn't really have enough space. This was because the USB 3 front IO connector I was using was blocking a little bit of space and it just didn't fit. I don't find it to be such a big deal because I rarely use them. And talking about the feet, I had them 3D printed with ABS plastic, but when I went to get the print, I ended up with one odd leg. And you can see that one of them resembles more of what my model looks like and the other one has a little flat dip. So then I printed a third leg and I just went with whichever one matched and it turned out the flat dipped leg matched a bit better, so I went with that one. I actually think it looks a little bit more comical. So I sanded the two legs, puttied them, and put another coat of primer, and then I spray painted them with that turquoise color. The idea with having the legs at the bottom to raise BMO up a bit was so that when my power supply fan went on, then it wouldn't be right up against the surface that it's sitting on, and it'll allow for better air circulation. Lastly, for the removable dust covers, I wanted to use some sort of mesh. Um, I ended up using some sort of fiberglass net, which is normally found as a window screen, and I use them as the dust covers. I saw a video with people embedding fabrics and this sort of fiberglass mesh into their 3D prints, and I thought that was pretty cool, so I decided to try it out for myself. And I think the results turned out pretty decent. I was pretty impressed, and I think I would totally try this with other fabrics in the future. I found out that I actually ran out of space for my rear fan, so I decided to just go the easy route and tape everything down. So I used the fiberglass mesh netting, just cut out a piece, and I taped it down to the back. Not the most elegant solution, but it works for now. So that's it for my BMO case project. And all of these experiences come in the form of metal bending, knowing about tolerance and accounting for that in your design, overall handling of metal as well as 3D print. And I'm really glad I decided to work on this project. The results are not absolutely perfect, but nothing really ever is. But overall, I'm still pretty happy with how he turned out. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. I'd love to hear about what you guys think, any suggestions you might make to improve this build. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel. I post videos about design and fabrication, and you'll see me posting here every week. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next one.